Alright, this is Mel Flossy that and today we're gonna be looking at uh, something I got from the Paramorphicon booth. This is G1 Hoist. Unfortunately it's not hundred percent complete, but I'll do a review of it anyway. So I'm thinking about trying to find the rest of the parts via Amazon. Basically I have Everything here, the full spectrum multi sensor, both fist and the radar panels, but I do not have either the missiles or the mini blasters, which would would equate with um, hoist. I also do not have text packs or the decoder that came with it, although, and there is already the stickers on it, but. I, this one looks like it's been put on afterwards, like from repro label or from an extra sticker sheet from another transformer. That's nice. So this is the original instruction sheet for it, which looks pretty cool. See how everything pops in together. Here's the cool. And so here's the last part, truth on synthesticity via the uh, rub symbol and then collect and save for the robot points that came in the box. Just putting this away. The only thing that I don't like is that the fact that the wings don't actually have anywhere to go onto the robot into the vehicle mode. It has these two stubs here then it impedes with the towing instruction because then you have to fold it out every time. But it's nice because this doesn't actually appear in any tow trucks I know of. But um, this hoist is, shares the same mode with Trail Breaker. And you can already see the Autobot saying that in here is a deep, deep blue, which shows you how hot it is inside the house. Then you see all the chrome, the rubber wheels. The orange caps, everything, the back of the head, and the, the top opens up so you can put in a dive clone driver from the Microman series. So basically, to transform it, you open up the bottom to reel the legs, and while you lift the legs, you also push it out the side. No. Oh. Put it out to the side, and then push it so it goes out to to the wheels, and so it so then it hits the front and stays on there. The other one will stiff in vehicle mode. It's a tad more loose in robot mode. Then you flip the feet up. See the stickers on the knees, uh, ankles, and feet, and the wheels stick out here. Now you have a stable base for him. Then here you open up these to reveal the arms. Then here you already see the tab right here and the hole to plug into so the entire robot mode stays stable. So basically you put that in and so it doesn't fall off put down the arms and for the head it's uh, exposed in robot mode because it sits like this basically when the back of the thing and the tow truck orange part comes down you can basically get a grip on it and fold it out and reveal more of the head then push it up and I'll disconnect it so you can see it better basically there's this part that all three parts are joined to the head, the orange, and the main body. So you push that, with the head you push it up, so then the head goes up with it and it covers the insignia for the robot mode. So basically trying to put this back in, plug it in as best as you can, and you have to worry about this, because this can easily come off, pop out easily. So try to push it in as best you can so it doesn't fall off in robot mode. And then you push 
these out a bit so then it's well, not flat and basically you plug in these the radar into the back of the head and attach any weaponry or the fist in your um, this is the solid piece of plastic you just see the thumb over the rest of the hand here is the right fist and then the left fist pops in here and the two wings stick out here you put the design this design side on the back so it sticks out like that plugs in very easily and so basically this head is very loose mm, the, our hands everything is very loose with this due to age trying not to get the recording light on it but it also helps it light up more anyway so I have to deal with that so basically this is how the robot is it's a very stocky character the arm here is loose while this one isn't as much you can see all the stickers that are pointed on it and there's this arm now the sticker down here and on the sides of the arms and basically this fist there's firing pins from the back one. And it can, you know, push it out, but it's very weak. Because either, I think for the Hasbro release, they took out all the springs. And so it's a very weak pull. It's either that, or they made the spring super weak so it doesn't really pop out as far. You see it landed in the middle, middle of my hand and bounced off. But overall, I think this is a really nice toy to have as part of your G1 collection. It's a very nice figure. Uh, although he wasn't part of the original cast, he joined in around season two, I believe. During around the same time as the construction cons. Either that. So now you have from Transformers G1 uh, toy line, the Heroic Autobot Hoist. So I'll see you guys next time. Uh, there are more videos to watch for Anime Expo 2014 playlist. And I will see you guys later.